Hi everyone. So today we're making a very simple side dish, one of my favorite side dishes. It's going to be garlic smashed potatoes. Yes, garlic smashed potatoes. I love those. A little funny story about potatoes. Obviously, I love any kind of potato, a fried potato, a mashed potato, any kind of potato. But my favorite, I love mashed or smashed potatoes. There was a Fraggle Rock episode in the mid 80s, for those of you who can remember Fraggle Rock, where they were going to dinner and someone asked, this little furry guy with a baseball cap asked, will we have mashed potatoes? Because I love mashed potatoes. So that has stuck with me because I love mashed potatoes <laughs> off of that. So, Today we're making this very simple uh, for things. It's basically a two-step process. You gotta cook the potatoes and you gotta mash them through. So earlier, I actually got a pound and a half of uh, baby golden potatoes and I quartered them. They've been sitting in water, uh, covered in water because I did it earlier. And if you don't do that and you're gonna take a while to use the potatoes, they will oxidize. So it really won't change the flavor too much of your smashed potatoes, but it'll change the look. It won't be very appetizing. And of course you want your food to always be appetizing. So I have here, as I said, a pound and a half of new golden potatoes that I have quartered. So I put these into basically a casserole dish. I have been making this recipe since my college days. I experimented with them. I wanted mashed potatoes. I was in an apartment. I really wanted to be able to have them. And I kind of figured this out over the time and years behind it. So you have the potatoes and you use olive oil, a good olive oil because you're gonna be tasting off of this. And you drizzle it on top. You don't need a lot, about two to three teaspoons off of that because it's gonna be cooking in the microwave. Then I have two tablespoons of um, cold butter, and I use unsalted butter in everything that I do. So it's unsalted cold butter that I'm just sprinkling on top here so it will melt as it cooks through. Then, can't be garlic smashed potatoes without garlic. So I have here roasted garlic powder. I've tried this with fresh garlic, minced garlic and everything, but you get a bite of garlic, which is not very appetizing when you're doing this. So I use the powder roasted garlic and I have two teaspoons of that, sprinkling it through. And then I have a teaspoon each of sea salt that I sprinkle on and cracked black pepper because since I'm using unsalted butter and potatoes really haven't any flavor except what you give them for it. So you want to be able to add that salt and you have the black pepper. So I'm just sprinkling that through as well. So you just want to give that a quick stir. And then once you feel it's coated, you cover it Put it into your microwave. So as I said, this is an easy way to do things. Put it into your microwave for on high for about 15 minutes. Um, you'll have to adjust based on your size microwave. This is for a thousand watts. You use it for 15 minutes. So you can adjust accordingly. You just want your potatoes to get soft and pork tender so that you can smash them up off of that. So this is gonna go into the microwave for 15 minutes or so, and it'll come out and I'll show you just basically you smash it up and I'm gonna have some homemade chicken gravy that we'll be putting on top of it. And that is a separate video to kind of show you how to make that gravy. All right, so we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we are back. It's been 15 minutes and the potatoes have finished cooking in the microwave. Take the lid off, see that beautiful steam behind it. And they are nice and soft at this point. So you can just take your basic potato masher and Give them a good push. <laughs> you want to get through the skins. I leave the skins on my potatoes because that's more flavor and I'm all about the flavor, hence the butter, hence the olive oil and the garlic and the salt and the pepper and everything. So you basically just want to move this around until you get it to the consistency that you and or your guests like. Doesn't take long. Just a few minutes of mashing with a good masher. You don't need to break out the blender for this. You don't need to break out the little mixer or anything. Again, 
I learned, I've been doing this since college, so I've been doing this one a while, and I've got it down exactly how, how I want it to look, how I want it to taste, how I want it to feel on it. So that is done. And we are having slash garlic potatoes with the homemade chicken gravy that's on a separate video if you wanted to go and see that. And earlier I made a lemon pepper chicken. Now this is actually very simple to do. The lemon pepper chicken is just basically a, a jar of lemon pepper marinade you can find at the grocery store. Put it into a freezer bag with your chicken. Let it marinate for at least a half an hour. Put it into a baking pan and then add butter to the baking pan, obviously. And I did some fresh lemon peel on it as well. And just baked it for an hour at 375. So it's a quick meal again on a weeknight. And as I said earlier, we made a little homemade chicken gravy. So pour that on top. Oh yeah. Always have extra gravy because you never run out of gravy, that's a sin. <laughs> so here you have garlic smashed potatoes, homemade chicken gravy, and a lemon chicken with meals with Michael. All right, bon appetit.